This is a tutorial for the Let's Eat Healthy High School Nutrition Curriculum from HealthyEating.org. This brief video tutorial will give you the basics for assigning content in Google Classroom and give you some suggestions for collecting work in Google Classroom from the Let's Eat Healthy content. So once you've accessed lesson one here, you can go ahead and scroll down just below the picture and each lesson will have these little uh, share to Google Classroom icons. So you can go ahead and click on that and it brings up a menu of options. And so I can go ahead and select my class. I have a sample class set up here. And then you can choose your action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign this reading as an actual assignment because at the end of the readings, there are uh, there's an opportunity for students to create SMART goals. And once they're done with the reading, that's a great place for them to go ahead and turn it in. It's here in Google Classroom. So I'm going to create an assignment. I'm going to hit go. And then I can go ahead and enter in the details. So let's say uh, lesson one, food and you. Please complete the reading and all activities in this lesson. And then you might want to give them other hints. For example, submit your SMART goal at the end of the reading. You can see the link is already embedded here. And then over on the right hand side, I can go ahead and decide, you know, how many points I want to assign to the assignment. I can pick a due date and I can also pick a topic. Now I can either create a topic here if I don't have it, or like I already have one here, I'm going to go ahead and select my Let's Eat Healthy Food and You topic. So it's automatically posted under lesson one. Once I've assigned it, I'm going to go ahead and view my assignment here in Google Classroom to make sure it uh, showed up the way I wanted it to. When you log into Google Classroom, as you're probably familiar, you'll see um, that the, it has a kind of a running history of everything you have uh, submitted or shown so far, and that will be on the stream page. To get to classwork, I'm going to go over to the second tab and click on that. And you can see my topic here for lesson one is showing up, and I can see my assignment, lesson one, food and you. I can see I have the nutri nu Nutrients and Serving Sizes uh, Review Quizlet. This is an additional assignment um, extension activity. And then the Food Group Classification Reading. And if I wanted to rearrange them, I can drag them around. And of course, I can edit each assignment by clicking on the three dots here on the right. And that allows me to change the name or um, the due date or points or anything like that. So you can go ahead and click, let's say, on the Lesson 1 Food and You, and then I can actually click on the reading again just to check the link and make sure it's going where I want it to go. And then this is exactly what students will see. So they'll be able to open up the reading from Google Classroom, and then they can find all the associated materials and tools that are in Lesson 1, including, as I mentioned, that short survey that takes them to the SMART goal at the very end. Once they complete the SMART goal, um, it will guide the, the survey will guide them through making the goal. They can either take a screenshot or they could take um, the PDF. They can save it as a PDF and then they can submit it here in Google Classroom. It may be helpful to include a new topic for each one of the lessons since each one will have multiple materials associated with it. Um, if that's too confusing, you may find that you just want to have a let's eat healthy topic and include all of the materials there. I would recommend if you're going to go that way that you label each one lesson one and then whatever it is, so lesson one.